wake up in the morning, usually the lowest tides were 6, 7 a.m. So you'd have to be out there before the sun came up. And you'd find a good place according to the wind. You'd always want to be in some sheltered spot. And to be able to see was usually had a hat with a good brim, sunglasses, Polaroid if you could, and you would have a bottle of oil, mostly vegetable oil because it was cheaper. Cod liver oil was better, but it was very expensive. Hmm. And the phrase, cast your oil upon the waters, or oil upon the waters coming, is true. Yeah. It put vegetable oil or cod liver oil, puts a slick onto the way onto the water, and okay. the, um, you'll, you're able to see down through it. So you take your rake and oops, put it down in, get it behind the the moss that's growing up on a rock and pull. You have to snap it off. Okay. This is a steel rake, a miserable thing, <laughs> because you had to pull the product off. The better one was? Yes, the better one was the bronze rake. Okay. The bronze rake, you could just pull it up, yank it, and it would slide. Okay. You always had a little pipe in case a tooth got bent or something got caught in between the tines. <laughs> You'd use your rake to pull yourself along catch a stone or mostly you'd catch the moss and those items there were a somewhat successful experience they were automatic boilers there was a little snap oh. that engaged them you'd fill them full of oil and then set them out in front of you and they drip oil from maybe depending on the size three quarters of an hour for a long time we had to pitchfork it into fish baskets, two bushel fish baskets, wire baskets, and weigh the baskets. Then we went from there to small creels. And then my father came up with the idea of weaving a net. And it's the same weave that you have in a lobster pond head. There are rings at the top, and at the bottom, which you can't see, there are also rings. You'd hook, you'd hook the hooks on the, on the square frame, and that tractor would pick up everything. There was a large scale, which you can see right there. It has rear wheel steering. Unfortunately, he didn't patent it. That was the first rear wheel steering.